40 is that time of month again yes with my beauty over 40 girls and this month we have a new member her name is Manuela I would definitely leave all her information along with the other girls that are participating in this month's collaboration which is inner peacock what is your inner peacock I'm gonna tell you what my inner peacock is if you like to hear what that is Definitely stay tuned. I'm down if you're down. Let's ride out right now. We'll go where there ain't no crowds. Somewhere underneath the clouds. I'm down if you're down. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. So, I'm not sure how what look I want to do. But because I'm not sure, I'm just going to go ahead and film my foundation routine. We have a new member, as I mentioned in the opening of the video. Her name is Manuela. So, new member. So, I asked if she wanted to come up with the theme. And so, she chose Peacock theme. Her explanation was, is the inner Peacock. So, to me, that could be really anything. Not specifically a Peacock or Peacock colors particularly. But, depends on what your inner Peacock would be. So that's how, that's what I wanted to look at. Why do peacocks shake their feathers? Let's look. When peacocks are ready to mate, they fan out their iridescent tall feathers known as trains before rushing at females, shaking those feathers to catch their attention. Hmm. Uh, you know, you learn something every day. I actually didn't know that. So that's kind of like a mating call. Anyway, so... Just a little lesson on peacocks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and proceed and do my makeup. My skincare is already done. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, um, I'm gonna apply my primer. So today for primer, I am using, uh, if I can get to it, uh, using the, the Futurist Aqua Brilliance Watery Glow Primer. I love this primer with the foundation I'm using today. I love the primer overall just anyway because it actually feels like a serum. So I love that for my skin. So we're just going to apply that all over. And again, it just feels like a serum. So right now it just feels like I'm doing more skincare. And who doesn't? Who doesn't love you know the feeling of one taking care of their makeup but just the whole application of applying uh skincare i meant of uh, applying skincare all right so that's the primer so for foundation today i'm actually going to use two foundations and unfortunately one is discontinued but i still use this every now and then so that is the estee lauder perfectionist youth infusing serum foundation it does have a SPF of 25 and then I'm going to use my regular double wear which is the amber honey five and two the perfectionist is the amber honey as well I'm just going to do and I know this is going to be too much because I don't I don't usually use two pumps of foundation just one is usually enough for me but I love the consistency of both of them but particularly I'm wanting to thicken it up just a little bit more with that perfectionist. All right, so I mix that together and then I'm just going to press that into the skin. That is my application technique for my foundation. I just like to press it in. I feel like you get more coverage when you press it in. Foundation under my eyes as, as always, as mentioned. My concealer that I use is pretty good coverage, so I don't need both the foundation and the concealer under my eyes. So that was a little, just a quick lesson on 
actually male peacocks. Let's see what else we can find on female. Female peacocks, FYI. Here's something else, female peacock facts. Female peacocks can't spread their feathers. Wow, that's uh, really funny how nature is. You would think that the female peacock was the one spreading their feathers. So that's one fact. Female peacocks can't do dance and flap its tail feathers at certain times. That's so funny. That, may <laughs> that makes me think about that song, Shake a Tail Feather. Okay, and then the last one, the adult male size ranges from nine to 13 pounds and the, uh, the female is six to nine pounds. The female peacock is much smaller than the male. It's pretty cool. It's uh, interesting how when you start to research you found that you find out so much more uh, information. That's pretty cool. I actually just got back from vacation. We went to Florida. My girls and I love, we absolutely love theme parks. So we went to Universal Studios and rode almost everything. It was amazing, absolutely amazing. <laughs> so anyway, we got to ride almost everything like some rides we got to ride like four times and I was cool with that. All right, so I'm just doing my concealer and I like to let my concealer sit. So while my concealer is sitting, warming up to my skin, I'm going to do our brows. For my brows, I'm going to use, actually, I don't know if I've showed you guys this hack, but if you have a brown matte lip color, and this is the Dream Cosmetics Brown Sugar, I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on the back of my hand, and I'm gonna use that for my brows. <laughs> Your inner peacock. So to me, that speaks to me. As far as myself, it's just really, you know, really having confidence in myself, which is something that was definitely learned over the years. You know, one thing for me would definitely be brows are done. Um, again, they're a little dark for me, but I'm not really going anywhere. But if I were going somewhere, I would just, I would lighten them up with this fiber gel by MAC. Big Burst Fiber Gel. My brows is just a brow tint. The color is stripped. All right, so now that brows are done, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend in my highlighter. So after we get this blended in, we'll discuss more what colors, what colors for me and my makeup style speaks to my inner peacock. All right, so contour, I'm gonna use this Anastasia foundation. I'm gonna use that for contour. The color is 550W. I do like a deep kind of reddish foundation to use as contour. All right, we're gonna set that. I just have this container here, uh, but it's the RCMA co no color powder that's in here. It's a great powder, works for all skin tones. I've used this from the lightest to the darkest. It's setting everywhere I had the highlight. And it just melts into the skin. All right, we need some blush. And actually, I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna use this color here from the uh, Natasha Denona palette. See, these two palettes are the Peak palette and the uh, Ayana palette. Just a little bit of blush, and I'm just overlapping that highlight and contours. You follow my channel, you know I love some highlights. So I'm one of those peacocks that <laughs> that's always gonna have some highlight on. So again, I'm just using that same palette and I'm just gonna lay down a little of that. Okay, so now that complexion is done, I'm just pressing where I put the highlighter. All right, we're gonna go on to eyes. So, so for me, um, you know, I talked about confidence as far as my inner peacock and talked about highlighter a little bit, but I really, really love my skin application. I really love taking my time and just really doing my makeup application, my face. Um, just speaking of the face, I love doing my skincare and just having a good skincare regimen. It really helps in your makeup application because you're kind of setting the tone to make the perfect canvas for your 
for your makeup. So just really doing your skincare and taking care of your skin as much as possible. Drinking water as well. It's just gonna give the, the best version of your skin to give you the canvas you need to apply your makeup, right? Inner Peacock, I love doing skin. And then as far as my eyeshadow, I love color. Do not get me wrong. And I'm sure you guys have seen me do plenty of color looks on my channel but i when it comes to my eyes i just really love just like a natural natural look that just kind of brings your skin out and i just feel like when i have a nice natural look on my eyes it complements my face so said all that to say that i'm just going to show you what i do for for my eyes and it's really simple but i love it i love it and including my complexion application you know if i'm getting ready for work in the morning 25 minutes i'm done all right so any transition color so i'm looking at this color here uh, between it actually any of this color this color or this one depend depends on how dark you want to go I'm just gonna kind of blend these these two together those are gonna be my my blending colors I do kind of and I feel like the older I get I start to lose lid space so I'm taking this you can see I'm taking it towards the front of my brow I've been doing this a lot lately. I feel like it just gives me a little lift instead of doing the windshield wiper motion on the uh, on the eyes in the crease. I've just been doing this. And of course, this is a look you can build on. And then underneath my eyes, I've been doing this so long, I just, I just throw some color down there and go. Um, so underneath my eyes, I feel like it kind of camouflages the wrinkles I have underneath my eyes. So for my lip, I usually, I usually will always go for a nude first. And so my first choice of nude is also by Dream Cosmetics, which is called Crushing, but I don't have that right now. But then my second option for my nude is the Estee Lauder Naked Ambition. And I just kind of put that in the center of my lips and then press. I'll use a little bit of that brown sugar, kind of as a liner. You guys follow me, you know I love my gauges. Absolutely love my gauges and here's a pair that I'm wearing today. So I love the gauge look or some people call it the stretch earlobe. I love that look but I can't commit. Although it looked good on some people but some people will literally have a hole in their ear like this, this wide and I, I can't do that. I personally like the smaller like if I were to stretch my ears, it would definitely be a, a smaller, you know, stretch. Wearing my faux gauges is definitely a part of my inner peacock. And I have tons of styles, tons of styles. You guys know if you follow me, I have a, I have an online boutique where I do sell my gauges. So, I mean, it just looks like my, my, it's going straight through my ear. Again, I love this look, but I can't commit. So this is pretty much the look, my inner peacock look. Sometimes I will step it up. I do love doing the inner corner. I will do that sometimes as well. And then also I just love to pop on a red lip every now and then. Boss Lady, many of us know about that. My nude and sometimes I'll do like a red orange. I love it. Last uh, inner peacock that just kind of just makes me just feel beautiful it just makes me feel beautiful like that would be my hair but right now she's marinating the twist out right now so i'm unable to get her out but of course if you guys follow me you guys have seen my hair numerous numerous of times and i i think that's it so this is my look for my my inner peacock just a really nice simple complexion and just a really soft eye. That's the look I love. That's my go-to and that's my inner peacock. All right guys, so if you have any questions, uh, any comments again about any videos that you guys would like to see in the near future, definitely leave that down below. Check out my girls, the girls that participated in this month's collaboration. 
Anner Peacock and put those rainbow of hearts on their page in their comment section. Let them know that I sent you over or put some colors of a peacock. Put some colors of a peacock in their comments along with your, your comment. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. So if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at LRH Makeup. And also my second handle on TikTok, which is underscore beauty over 40. And of course, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. Turn on post notifications. That way you'll be notified when I upload new content. All right, guys, until next time, remember the best makeup you can wear is confidence. Bye.